My name is Dr. James Craig. I am George Washington's personal physician, but also Physician General of the United States. It is my duty to see that our country is medically prepared in case of war. In my day, there are actually three ways to become a doctor. You may do as I did through education. I myself studied at the University of Edinburgh, top medical school in the world. Thank you very much. I studied there from age of 10 to age of 20 to become a physician. Now, if you do not wish to follow the path of education, you may choose the second path to becoming a doctor, military service. You will join the military and become a surgeon's assistant. You will apprentice with the doctor some seven to 10 years. And when air the doctor that you are apprenticed to feels that you are qualified, he names you as a doctor. If you do not wish to follow military service or education, then by all means choose the third path to becoming a doctor. And that is, <clears throat> move to an area that does not have a doctor. Be the one who knows the most about medicines and remedies. Be good with a bandage, good with a needle and thread, good with a knife, good with a saw. You're the doctor. Now today, we shall be focusing upon the second path, military service. We are going to learn the process of treating a gunshot wound. First things first, our patient will be brought to our hospital tent. They will be laid out on the table, prepared for us to treat them. So now we must find this bullet. The doctor uses what I consider to be one of his greatest tools to find this bullet. It is with him at all times. And that tool is the finger. Say we are shot in the shoulder here. Now, in order to find that bullet, I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to plunge it into that bullet hole and feel about to try to find the bullet. Now, if the bullet is lodged too deep, by too deep I mean deeper than my finger is long, I must use a different tool to find that bullet. And that tool is called the probe. The probe is a metal rod. It is rounded at one end, so it does not hurt you. And on the other end, there is an eye, much like the eye of a needle later for that. What we will do is we will take the probe and we will plunge it into that bullet hole and tap about to find the bullet. Once we have found the bullet, it is then time to remove it. You remember the eye? Now it comes into play. We shall take a piece of linen cloth. We will thread it through that eye and then we will twirl it up and turn it into a swab. We will plunge that swab into the bullet hole, give it a few good twists to clean the wound out, remove it, remove that, throw it away, it's no good. Now we will take our forceps and our forceps are going to be what helps us to remove the bullet. We will plunge it into the bullet wound, locate the bullet, open the forceps, grasp hold of the bullet and pull it right out. If the bullet is lodged too difficultly or if the wound has started to swell shut, we will use a different tool to remove that. And this instrument is called, ironically, the bullet extractor. Now, note that the extractor is threaded on one end, much like a screw. We will take the bullet extractor. We will plunge it into the bullet hole, line the point up against the bullet. Then we will take the heel of the hand and we will drive it into the bullet. Bullets are lead. Lead is a soft metal. The point of the extractor will sink ever so slightly into that bullet. And then you remember how I said it was threaded like a screw? That's because it is a screw. We will now screw the extractor into the bullet. Once we have done that, we will grasp hold of the handle and pull it right out. Now we have removed the bullet, but there is one last thing that we must do, and that is to close the bullet hole. Now, there are two ways we can do this. We can do this either with packing, using wool and lint to tightly pack the bullet wound, and let it slowly heal. And as it does, we will draw out that wool or lint. Or a more efficient way is to use a curved needle and linen thread to suture the bullet hole closed. Now you know the ways to treat a gunshot wound.